So see how many stars you get. Do you have one, two, three? I hope not. But if you do, learn from that. But start out from the beginning to think about what you want your customers to be saying about you and their love notes on Poshmark. Do you want them to say fast shipping? Do you want them to say great packaging or great packing? Do you want them to say packed with love? What do you want them to say? Whatever you want your customers to say, say focus on that. And that'll be what you put into your packing. That's what I believe anyway. I definitely always read feedback if it is below five. I, of course, I read it when it's five also. But what I'm saying is I want to learn from my mistakes, whether it's on the reselling platform or in life. So I definitely listen to what I am told. Here's an example. In the beginning, I was selling, I think it was coach belts and I bought the coach belts from the coach outlet. So I paid a good amount of money for them and I thought I was going to keep them for myself. But when I got them, they were too thin and we weren't going back to the coach outlet. So I kept them and I was selling them for, let's say the price on them was, it was really cheap. It was like $29 each. And there were two of them, and I think I sold them for 50 but I kept the $29 each on them, so it would be 60 which is what I paid. <laughs> and they were mad because I kept the ticket on them. Now, they still paid less, but I guess they wanted to pay even less. So I paid attention to that, and now if I buy anything at outlets, I check to make sure I take off at least that price amount because they normally have another price on there with the original price. So do your best to look inside of wallets. That happened to me once too. And even though it wasn't a bad thing, they were thrilled because the inside of the wallet said $119 and they only paid 20. So they were happy about that. But either way, you want to make it so that unless you have that tag in your listing and you if you don't want them to see that price don't put it in there if there's for me if there's a tj maxx price on something that i find in the thrift store or at tj maxx i take that off because it's much more expensive when it first comes out somewhere else so just pay attention to what they're saying. Pay attention to what you're doing when you're packing. But this is mostly all about customer feedback. Take it and run with it. Run with it, learn from it, and do better and better so that every time, or at least most times when things come in, you see a five and you see great shipper, or today I got something that said she, she arrived to me safe. I'm sending out these angels with wings. They're only about this big. I'm making it sound like they're like this. But their wings are so delicate that when I sent one out in the past, I bubble, bubble, wrapped it, wrapped it, and the type of packaging it has wasn't good enough for it, and I didn't know. And the person gave me a suggestion about a specific box, and... Now, that is what I'm doing, plus putting in all this uh, foam, styrofoam. So I'm hoping I have two more getting somewhere at the same time because they're one order. So those are getting there today, and I'm hoping that they get there good. And the reason why they will if they do is because of a customer's feedback. So pay attention. Don't get mad. Don't get scared, upset, anxious. In the beginning... I used to get anxious or annoyed, but you know what? This is only to help you. So what? Some of them are just very, very few are just downright nasty. But still, see if there's something that you can change that might not make the next nasty person nastier. <laughs> that's kind of mean, but that's, that's true. Because sometimes people are looking to pick things out. Very, very few. I have great customers that I love and that 
do not give me issues just every once in a while like anything else in life. So that was tip number seven. Basically, pay attention to your customer feedback, review it, and do better. What do you want to see your customers writing about you? Think about that and do that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, and hit that bell and subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get more content that you'll see every time I make a video, I believe. So I have lots of other videos. It'll show you one at the end that is probably my latest up, up, download, upload. I don't know. So watch that maybe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And I hope these tips are helping. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any tips. I'll add it in to my 31 because I have a couple that are kind of repetitive and I'm going to change them anyway. So let me know. Subscribe.